basically, I'm going to do an audio tour of a small, small not-for-profit community organisation. All right? Just, just to... Because I can. <laughs> <coughs> Sound a bit Little Britain, didn't it? <coughs> <coughs> Welcome, everybody, to the audio tour of a small not-for-profit community organisation. Over here, we have three desks for 14 part-time workers. <laughs> Over here is a cupboard. A cupboard. <laughs> and in the cupboard are rolled up pieces of butcher's paper. And they are all from strategic planning days. If the strategic planning day has been run by a man, he will use a lot of post-it notes, use vague academic references, and ask everybody to do some group work. If the strategic planning day is run by a woman, she will request all participants to stand behind the chair to say what they want to bring to the strategic planning day. <laughs> she will then get them to stand in front of the chair and say what they hope to take from the strategic planning day. All the while, all participants will be requested to shake an ethnic musical instrument. <laughs> Over here is the compliance area. And there we can hear people silently weeping. Which is a miracle, because they are silently weeping yet we can still hear them. <laughs> Over here, in the corner, is the toilet. And recently, the Committee of Management has authorised the installation of a self-closing toilet seat. This is because a man has begun working at the small, not-for-profit community organisation. And the rest of the workers mainly women over the age of 40, have requested the self-closing toilet seat to be installed so that they do not feel oppressed by the patriarchy. <laughs> over here are some people having a meeting. A meeting. They do not know yet whether they are a steering group, a subcommittee, or a working party. <laughs> Despite this setback, they are working diligently on their terms of reference. <laughs> <laughs> for they are going to lobby the government for change. They are going to lobby the government for change because they want the word nanny taken out of the word nanny state and the word nuna <laughs> put there instead so that it is more inclusive of our culturally and linguistically diverse communities. Let us look out of the window. <coughs> there they are. The community. <laughs> they are happy now. For they have all been yarn bombed. <laughs> 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 
and they are plodging around in their vegetable patch, <laughs> which is full of crocheted cabbages. <laughs> Goodbye, the community. Goodbye. Let us look around the vista before we depart from the small not-for-profit community organisation. Bold, bright colours, chunky footwear, and a smattering of elk jewellery. <laughs>